yeah, so you can just sit, you know, lay in bed instead of having this huge right. thing, which I know it seems big, but I love it. Um, I don't know. I mean, so someone might think that it's too, too crazy. I'm sorry, I have pop-ups going all over. Um, but yeah, just for something simple. Or geez, what if, you know, I have three kids. What if it gets broke? <laughs> um, after I'm done, After I'm done freaking out, I can use the phone <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's just a very simple app. I mean, there's not much to it. There's some, you know, reviews on there, you know, people complaining that it doesn't work. And But if you read, it's not, you know, compatible with certain uh, uh, firmware. So you just got to read. But, I, you know, we've talked about reviews anyways. I like to... So it, my, it, only... Obviously, ahead, you, have to be connect, you have to be connected into your network, correct? Yep, Wi-Fi. And, you know, I had used a... Uh, an app similar to that for my dish network before and that was pretty uh slow and laggy this thing was like snap really boom yeah it was really good it did everything it was i mean and you just open up the app you know when you initially download and install you just open it up and it'll say okay scanning for uh, a review on the pearl which is my network name boom there it is you want to connect yes and then all of a sudden on the tv it tells you on your phone okay hit this hit this and it's kind of you know syncing them both up and then, uh, and then that's it. I mean, I'll, I'll mostly use the, the giant keyboard, but for an alternative, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I just got the TV yesterday, the Logitech, and I mm. actually got my upgrade to Honeycomb today. Uh, I was going to ask you that. Oh, yeah. So I didn't have much time uh, after homework and dinner to actually get to play around with it too much. But from what I did mess around, man, this is. This thing is really cool. Um, you like it, eh? Yeah. Um, there's. I've had a few issues. I run it, you know, because my biggest thing was this is a this is a secondary TV. We got uh, a nice deal on a 32 inch. We put it in the bedroom um, because, like I said, with three kids, my other main TV on the weekends, my wife and I are in the kitchen with a little seven inch under the cabinet, like, and we're just drinking our coffee, going, "Why are we in here?" And the kids are watching. So we got a good deal on a TV, but I want to be able to. Uh, you know, stream all my content on my computer to my TV. So I had to find a DLNA certified device. Um, and like I said, I went with the Western Digital originally, and it was great. It, it played everything, every file format I threw at it, it would play for a while. And then it would lose the server. Uh -huh. And you'd have to go in and reconnect all this stuff. So I just said, I can't, I can't deal with that. No. You know, um, so I just, I got this thing. So anyways, this will play everything, but there's been a couple videos it'll play, but I have no sound. So, you know, I got to mess around with it. I'm sure there's some tweaks you can make to this thing. Yeah. For a hundred bucks, you can't really go wrong with this thing. Ag oh man. Do you want to hear the best part of this? Uh oh. Nobody, you cannot find one around me for a hundred dollars. Can't find a yeah. Logitech review. All sold out. And I don't know if you know, but the, the review has a, uh, a webcam or TV cam you can buy. To put, you put it on your TV, and uh, you hook it up to the review, and it works just with the review, and you can yeah. do, like, calls. Yeah. That camera alone is $145. Right. I'm I got bored. a bundle. I got a bundle for this with the review, $129. <laughs> Are you serious? So this right here is on eBay right now because I don't need it. Sweet. So I'm hoping to knock the overall cost down. Till uh, nothing almost. So well, there's your... Oh, there's your new I, device. That's my. That's why I can't get it. Yeah, phone, so I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I don't need the webcam. I have really good webcam, and I thought, you know, if this is my secondary TV in the bedroom, what am I? What is my <laughs> friends and family going to think when they see a webcam <laughs> on my TV in the bedroom? You know what I mean? Yes. So, so, and it was a good selling point for my wife. I said, look, there's a deal. I mean, it's 130 bucks. We can sell the webcam for 50, 60 bucks. And, uh, you know, so. Wow. Very cool, man. Yeah, I like it. I actually just put my Google TV on eBay two days ago. I sold it. Uh, it sold. Yep. As soon uh, as I got the update, I was just, I lost interest. I, I just, I have no need for that thing right now. I'm doing everything on computers. I'm happy with it. And when that, when I actually want a Google TV, I'll go buy one cheap somewhere. They're going to come down. Right. Or that little device 
where it has full Android on it with HDMI and USB and what is like a like a tablet? No, the little device we went we talked about last week, the little thumb drive size. Oh yeah, size yeah, device. something like that. I'm telling, yeah, exactly. I'm I'm all set. But I was um, waiting. I was waiting to hear you got rid of that Google TV. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist. All right, guys. Um, we, let's quickly uh, rapid fire style. Just uh, empty the tank here. If you have any other apps, and then I'll read some emails, and uh, that will be that. Door. Brand new app just released today. If you're tired of people on iDevices saying, well, I got Flipbook, I got Flipbook, Google released a new app called Google Currents. It's supposed to be a Flipboard-esque type app put out by Google. Haven't had time to play with it. Literally, I just found out about it two hours ago. Next week, maybe. Um, that looks cool. Gitchar, I got two games for free this last week. One of them is called Castle Warriors. Um, I don't know how to explain this game except for cool uh, Stratego, not Stratego, Risk. Risk style game uh, where you basically have your castles and you have to go around, uh, take almost some of the people from that castle and go to another castle and attack and try to overtake the other people. Um, I, I really don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I think you did a good job. But it's cool. Um, the other app I got there, dude, this one, talk about explaining it. It's called Ninja Man Beat Dash Jitsu. Ninja Man Beat Jitsu. I don't know, I don't know how, how many words is that. I got mm -hmm. your link. I'll just use your link. Okay. <laughs> um, the best way I can explain this, side-scrolling platformer, but the controls are Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> Okay, you have four <clears throat> arrows, up, down, left, right. And as you're running across the screen, there's an arrow that you have to, when you run, you have to hit it as you hit it. And if you do, then you do something. If you don't, sometimes you just go and go on a different route through the level. Sometimes you die. And it seems to give infinite lives because I have died a lot. Um, and then when the, and then there's certain arrows that are like see-through, like translucent, that if you hit all four of them in a row of the right pattern a, as you hit them, you get a bonus. Weird. And it definitely has weird um, music to it. Really? It's the like graphics are weird too. Techno-ish. <laughs> you know, kind of silly, <laughs> but cool. Ninja, Ninja Man beat Jits. <laughs> Ninja Man beat Jits. Wow. Good idea just because it's different. I like it. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Dora. Thanks. No problem. Anything else on your plate there, Tim? Yeah. Um, you ever wanted to have an app that would, um, I guess, tell you if you're dead? Well, now there's an app that'll tell you if you're dead. Huh. <laughs> And here it is right here. Are it's you called dead? Am I Dead? Shake and the phone to find out. Shake the phone to find out. Let's shake it. <laughs> oh, and it crashed. Oh, that's <laughs> you must be dead. <laughs> You're dead. Force closed. Yeah, let's try it shake again. Shake the phone to find out. Okay. Try to shake it. It says, still rocking, still rolling. Click OK. Shake the phone. Your time isn't up yet. Okay. Nah. That mortal coil is stuck on you tonight. This well, is definitely anyways, Tim's crap app of the day. This is a crap app from the Android <laughs> market. Only three downloads, and Steve, you got to read those reviews on that. Let me read them hey, now. This I can't. I don't think I can resist this. It's uh, hilarious. Is are the reviews good? Uh, let's see. I can read them right now. It would be uh, one says it's okay if you want to be assured whether you're dead or not. Improve the English as well. <laughs> App is retarded. Uninstall. All it does is tell you you're not dead. <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work on the X8. Right? And that's it. There's only three reviews, 13 downloads. Crap app of the week. Nice crap app of the week. Clever idea. They could have done a little better with the graphics and such. But I love it. Thank you, Tim. All right. Anything else? That's it. Okay, Sean. Okay, real quick. Um, I actually bought this app about five minutes before we did the show or before you called me. I was waiting. Um, and Dora was talking about it before. It's the uh, Tencent apps. 
on the uh, marketplace. I think what is it for ten days? Um, I was on Life Hacker, and I got the uh, what is it ADW Launcher EX. Okay. And every time I'm trying to talk to you guys about an app on this phone, it's really screwing me up. I'm not used to it, but hey, for a dime, I'm gonna try it. So what is so, it? It's a t what is it? It's an app it's, that it's a, app? it's a launcher. Um, so you can change like from sense, you know, your you know when you hit your home button, you know, different uh, styles. No, not know, the, not the launcher. The uh, where's oh, the ten the, apps thing? I, I, you know what? I haven't really been paying that much attention, but I, I think it's ten. You know, ten days they have different apps. Who does for uh, the, the, uh, the Android market? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, for ten cents a day. So I mean, yeah, oh, I think we're into the, here we go. I think we're right. into the third day here. I see, guys. Yeah. Ten days of offers, top premium apps, ten percent per app. Shop now. Yep, it is to commemorate ten billion downloads. Really. Yes, 10 billion downloads, so 10 straight days, 10 apps each day, different apps, each app 10 cents. I think I would like this. Neat. How's this home run battle 3D? Would we ever go over that? Never have. That looks pretty good. But it's only 10 cents. Hey, Con if Can Knock Down 2. I like Can Knock Down 1. There you go, 10 cents. Rock on. Sweetness. Very cool. Hopefully by the time everybody hears this, those 10 days won't be up, but they might be. What's today? Well, uh, Thursday, there's, Friday, there's, Saturday, there's, Sunday. It'll be three days since I tore the Easter show, so there will be whatever that math is. There, okay. there is a there is a saving grace. What? Or? I thank Knucklehead Tech. He keeps setting me straight, man. <laughs> the day after an app is ten cents, the next day on the Amazon market, they have some of them. Sometimes the very same deal. Really? Yeah, sometimes it's similar deals. Dude, is That's there a freaking you. jet in your room down there? It's my heat. I told you I told you it was coming. <laughs> I told you it was coming on. You said I don't hear it. I said you will. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad you're warm. Yeah. I love you, hon. <laughs> All right. It's good to be warm. Anything else, Sean? No, that's it. Okay. You guys ready for some email action? Here we go. Rom question. Hola, I sent you guys an email a few weeks ago. Thanks for the response on the show. I'm wondering if you guys know of any quality ROMs to flash my Photon 4G, as many of the best, including Cyanogen Mod, mod aren't available for my device. Thanks in advance for your help. It's from Matt. P.S. I'm not going to read that. Um, so, this is a Photon 4G. I have no clue. I, would I seem say... to be saying this on all my shows. I have no clue. What else? What do you guys have on this? I would say go check out uh, Roots Wiki or uh, XDA. XDA. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the phone, so I I can't say for a specific ROM. But yeah. Okay. Photon four G. I mean, I don't know about Cyanogen Mod being the best. Um, I don't like it. Yeah. Myself. I've installed it many times. Um, not many. A few times on my phone and different. I never got it all working straight up on the uh, Evo four G, but I I got fresh working. So, yeah, uh, wait a second. Actually, the last time I was on the show, I thought we had me and Dor had you convinced to check out uh, my UI. Yes, you did have me convinced, but then the yeah. show ended and I, I, I went to bed. I woke up and totally forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. just, that's lame. Dude, it's no, good. I, just, I like Thanks, just got man. an update finally two days ago. I've had the same my UI for a month and a half. Yeah, it only credit. gets better. I hear really good things about this, Rom. You're right. It's really good. Um, the only ROM I see is called Photon Electrify Mopalk, and it's a Cyanogen Mod 7 Tweak CM7. Um, it looks like there's not a lot of choice on this device. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty new still, but hopefully, Matt, um, we'll get some devices or some ROMs out for you. But good advice, guys. Read the next email now. This is from Matt. He says, Greetings. Just wanted to let you guys know about an app called Power Amp, if you don't have it already. It's the best music player available for Android. Great EQ organization has a wide range of features. I am impressed. Did we read this before? Uh, I'm, not so. sure. uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we, we read it, but Eric, eight shows ago, brought it up. Okay. Um, I'll... I'll read the rest of it. I think I just answered this email late. Um, he says, 
Uh, also, I have rooted my Motorola Photon 4G and installed an app called ROM Toolbox.